What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and OneDrive Business. We're going to look at the action which is get file by get file content by path or using path. So this allows you to specify a path for your um, your content, and then what it'll do is it will take that content of either a file or an image or something like that, and then you can use that content elsewhere. So what this means is you could take a, um, a document that you're uploading, you could get the file content, you could convert that file content to a PDF, and you can then you know send that PDF out to someone, or you could take an image file and move it from one place to another by getting the content of that file. So let's take a look at it today. I'm in my OneDrive for Business flow here, uh, and I've got a trigger, which is when a file is created. I'm going to click on New Step and I'll search OneDrive for Business, choose that connector, and then I'm going to scroll down until I get to Get File Content Using Path. So here I'm actually going to use my direct content and I'm going to choose File Path for this one. Um, and that's the only that's the only required parameter. We do have an optional parameter of infer content type. This is just whether you want Power Automate to figure out the content type or if you're going to specify that in. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually insert this into a CDS record. So I'm going to click on New Step. I'm going to go to Common Data Service. Choose the Common Data Service Current Environment Connector. I am inside a solution. And then I can scroll down until I get to Upload File or Image Content. So this is one of the new actions. It's pretty cool and it allows you to upload files or images directly into your CDS database. First thing you need to choose is the entity type. Uh, I don't know why it keeps going off to the side of the screen, but it does. Um, it's probably the experimental features on. And choose contacts, because I know I've got a image field on my contact record. Next thing, I'm going to need an item ID. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to my CDS. I have this contact record here for a person called Logan. And then I'm going to use level up and I'm going to get the record ID in here. You could get this via dynamic content or some other way. I'm just choosing to do it, uh, I'm just hard coding this in at the moment. So I can just paste that into the item ID and it's going to run and update that record. The field name, this is going to search through that entity and find any fields that have the, um, the file or field type. Uh, in this instance, I've got three. I've got the entity image, which is the primary image, and I've got two test image files, um, this image one and this image three. And I use this test image three. And then the content is actually that content that we're getting in that previous step. So I can use my dynamic content and I can choose file content there. Um, and that's all I need. So let's test this out. So we're going to trigger this when a file is created. So I'll click on test. I'll perform a trigger action, save and test. And then this is going to start running. So we'll click over to my OneDrive for business. And here I'm going to upload a file and I'm going to upload a picture of a Wolverine. That is uploading. We can go back to the flow. I am having some issues with this rendering properly at the moment. So what we'll do is we'll just do it a second uh, and then we'll just refresh our CDS page. And we can see it's not there yet. It may just be a little slow to trigger at the moment. So back to my flow. It is just having a few moments with the triggering, I think. No, come on, flow. I'll upload another file just to be safe, but I am pretty sure it has triggered in the background. It's just struggling today. Uh, let's upload a picture of a quokka, because who doesn't load a quokka? Upload that one. And we'll actually go back and we'll see. Four seconds zero, four seconds zero. So yeah, I think he's just having a little trouble um, updating today. So we will hit refresh, we'll scroll down, and we'll now we have that picture of that quokka, because that was the second one I uploaded. Um, but that's all good. It's still, it's still in hell with you. So yeah, so that's how this works. Um, so we can um, pass in the whole path parameter. So the file path looks like this. It's the non-friendly version of the file path, and we can use that to then um, specify what we are, what we are doing. So what we're uploading, what we are uh, triggering this on, 
where we want this to run. So I said you can use this. I use this all the time for things like convert things to PDF because that's a really useful feature in OneDrive for Business and in Power Automate. So upload a, a file to my to a specific folder in my OneDrive for Business, it converts it to a PDF and it just sends it back to me, uh, which is handy if you want to automate things. I know you can kind of go in, you can open, you can save, you can save as PDF. But hey, isn't it just easier that if if a system that I'm running, so say I'm using a Dynamics 365 system, if that's generating me a, a Word document out of it, a Word template, and I can't use the templating feature inside Dynamics, I can send it to my OneDrive business, it can convert to PDF, it can send it back to my um, CDS instance or my Dynamics 365 instance, and then it can convert to PDF and I have that there to then send it on to a customer. So loads of great use cases. This is a really handy feature, a really handy function. Let me know down below what you guys use this for. Um, if you like this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.